Hi guys, Tracy here and my December Scraptastic kits just arrived in the mail yesterday and uh, I happen to have the day off today so I get to play with these yummy supplies and I can't wait so I wanted to share them with you guys before I started cutting into them and using them. I've got a couple of holiday uh, photos that I want to scrapbook um, in addition to I've been doing a December daily type of a project uh, using the stocking stuffer kit. Uh, so today I'm going to take a bit of a break from the stocking stuffer December daily type stuff and uh, do some layouts. So I wanted to share with you guys these kits and so I'm going to put this one is the add-on and this one is this one is the add-on and this one is the main kit. So I'm going to put this aside and share that with you in a minute. And as always, I'm going to put all of the embellishments aside and share with you guys the 12 by 12 uh, papers and embellishments that come. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go through the paper with you guys. This is actually a 12 by 12 page of embellishments that are perforated, so they pop out really easily, which is really nice um, because you don't have to do any cutting. And oh, look, they're all double sided. That is really cool. And they're double sided kind of with the same things on the backs of them. So it would be great for using with um, transparencies in a, in a, you know, little pocketed, it would be great for December dailies actually, because we're all putting so many transparent pages in our albums for that, that this would be perfect for that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. This is called Santa's List by Teresa Collins, and um, it's just awesome. I love it. And the different sides are almost the same, but some of them are slightly different. So for example, this one right here has printing on it here, and here it's just a plain grid. Um, a lot of them are the same. This one says it's the most wonderful time of the year, and so does that one. Um, yeah. But every once in a while there's one that's a little bit different. Like this one here says Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And then on the other side it just has the Santa so you could put your own little little uh, statement or journaling on there. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really impressed with these. These are really cool. So I'm going to put those aside because they're not technically paper and I'm just going to show you guys the paper. So the kit always comes with um, a piece, it looks like I got two pieces of just chipboard to keep it flat. So you could always, you know, cut these up or die cut them or use them, but they're not really part of the kit. So I'm going to share with you guys the cardstock, I guess. You get two pieces of each color. These are all basil cardstock, and this is like a beautiful deep color of red. Really, really deep. And then this is a white, and then this is like a craft color. It's not craft, but it's a crafty color. It's um, because craft usually has like a, it looks almost unfinished, whereas this is just like a, a color of paper. Actually, I could probably tell you the color. It is called fawn. So it's white, crimson, and fawn. You can hear my husband calling the dog upstairs. <laughs> So those are the card stocks. I'm going to move this. Then the papers that you get with the kit. You always get six pattern papers. This one is from Teresa Collins. It's this really cool chevron with some snowflake designs on each, on two of the corners. Uh, it's called Santa's List. And the other side is this awesome white and red polka dot. This is really fun paper. It's going to be hard to choose which side to use of that. So I'll have to cut it up and use a bit of each. Uh, this one is called So This is Christmas from Cardabella and it has this beautiful vintage looking music paper and it's probably Christmas music on there. I'm dreaming of a little Christmas. And then the other side is this really deep burgundy. It's almost a brick browny color. Um, it's a very, very deep burgundy diagonal stripe. Kind of hurts the eyes a little bit when it's in a full 12 by 12, but cut this up and use it as, especially as mats. I, I find diagonal stripes look great as mats 
for your photos. This was a paper that I was hoping would come in a kit. It is the Reflections, Christmas Reflections, I guess it's probably called, by Echo Park, and it's this matte paper that focuses on the North Pole. I love this. I love matte paper that takes a different perspective than the regular kind of North American in the middle and then the other things around it. And then the other side is also really cool. It's a, it looks kind of like a snowflake pattern that is all kind of interconnected like mosaic. It's really cool. This will almost certainly be a background paper for me. I just love it as I love it big. In fact, sometimes when I have papers like this, they're so pretty by themselves, I might even just kind of put a little journaling card right here and have it be the companion page to another scrapbooking page because I don't want to cover this up. So that might be what this becomes is, is a little journaling companion page so that this side would be a 12 by 12 regular scrapbooked page and then I'd put the journaling kind of right here because this is a big space that's this is more detailed so I don't want to really cover that. Then this is the So This Is Christmas from Cartabella. Uh, is that the same as this? Yep, it is. It's from the same collection. It's this wavy, I love these wavy zigzaggy patterns. Really pretty. It's kind of like a bit of a, of a, of a, um, take off of the chevron pattern that's been so popular for so long. And then this is awesome. It says Merry Christmas over and over again. And I love typography and I love typewriter font and that's what this is. So it's very, very cool. And then again, that's what that side looks like. I am very likely to use this side. This one is also from Santa's List from Teresa Collins and it has this nice um, grid paper or uh, ledger paper. It says wonderful, wonderful with some scrolly things on the edges. And then the other side is this really nice craft colored top and bottom with a scalloped piece of, um, what is this? It looks like a newspa newspaper. It doesn't say anything though, it's all nonsense. So, cute, that's cool. I like ledger backgrounds for, especially for um, Christmas layouts that I might have to do a lot of journaling right on the, on the page. This is really, really nice, I love this. This is by Fancy Pants, Merry Little Christmas. And this is awesome, I would love this for a background. Um, it's got so much detail, it has this kind of striped background in this beautiful blue color. And then it also has some holly printed on it in different places around the edges. And then it has this calendar here, but it's a really cool calendar. It looks like it's been stamped and overlapped and it's got Christmas and Merry Merry in December. It's just really, really cool. I love this. I can't wait to use it. Oh, it's unfortunate that there's a really pretty um, chevron on the back because this is really nice. This would have been a perfect month to get extra pattern paper. Um, with the kit because these papers are really nice on both sides. So that's awesome. And then I'll just, I've already shown you this uh, Teresa Collins Santa's List die cut um, pop out type of 12 by 12. And then you also get this Fancy Pants label stickers. This is from the Merry Little, Cole Merry Little Christmas collection. And I'll just show you that these, they have these beautiful little tabs and an arrow and some labels and a stamp looking sticker. These are all stickers, so they're self-adhesive. And some little banners. Christmas isn't a season, it's a feeling. 95% nice, 5% naughty, that's cute. All I want for Christmas, these are really cute and they coordinate really nicely with the kits, so that's beautiful, nice to have. Um, we always get a set of Ormolu cut aparts and these are beautiful. They, we've got some labels here and a tag that you can cut apart, some banners and some pennants. It's a Wonderful Life. Peace, Love, Hope, Wish with a place to write. Um, Santa stops here, a little tag. I like it that some of these are blank because it gives you a chance to do your own writing on it or put some embellishments. <clears throat> so that's that. Then the kit also comes with a set of die cut pieces. It always comes with some little Scraptastic exclusive die cuts. 
And look at this. This is like a golden vellum and it says Mary and it's absolutely beautiful. It has a shimmer to it. So it's very pretty and I'm not sure if my camera is picking up the shimmer on it, but it's beautiful. And I love the font. It's a different font than what I'm used to seeing. These are all different fonts than what we usually see on these. Oh, I love this. Very deco or something. Love that font. That is awesome. Holiday style, it says. It's very delicate. It's beautiful. And then this one says Santa. Those are really, really pretty. I love them. Then we get some tags, and let me see who makes these tags. It's a half a package of Fancy Pants and Merry Little Christmas tags, and so what tags you get in your kit will really will vary. So I guess half of us will get these four tags, and half of us will get another four tags. These have reinforcers right on them instead of printed on them and I really like that detail. I really love the look. It looks like a real tag. So those are really pretty. I love those. Very pretty. We get some some twine and I believe this is from Lawn Fawn. It's really pretty twine. I will hold it up so you can see. It's like a natural um, twine, like a stone color with a string of gold weaved into it so it's really pretty. Then we get some Caitlin Schaefer exclusive flare. And the three that we get with this kit are okay. Some birch trees the globe with peace and this looks like a map of the North Pole. Sorry about the glare. I'd have to hold them sideways for there to not be glare and then they'd fall off my hand, but there you go. Oh, I've got pen on my hands. And then we get some beautiful wood veneers and these are just Amazing. First of all, the amount we get is unbelievable. It's like a whole package of of uh, wood veneers here, only the difference is that they're all different. So usually when you get a package, you get mostly the same shape. This one is a beautiful banner that says Christmas Magic. Then we get this adorable little deer who's sitting down. Oh, that's so cute. I dropped one. Then we get some presents. Let me get all of the presents together in my hand and then I'll show you those. So it looks like there's two of each design here. So I will hold them up like that. And then we get, these are probably two of each design too. So I'll only put the three of them up but we get two of each of these. And then we get a medallion or a disc with the number 25 on it. Really nice. Oh, I can't wait to use these. This is gonna be so much fun. Then we get a set of these red large alpha stickers by Fancy Pants. And they're always fun to work with because they're a nice, bold shaped font very readable, great for titles. So that is the kit so far. If you order two kits in a row, you do get a little bonus prize or present, I guess, um, from Scraptastic. It, it, this is Liquid Pearls in Gold Pearl. And I use these as, as a paint. I use them as, um, sometimes I'll use them um, on a sponge with a stencil. And you can also kind of like dot them on in place of uh, enamel dots and um, then you have to just you know be careful that you let the, they take a long time to dry when you put them in dots because they're you know they're a little bit thicker um, and yeah those are some ways to use that so I'm going to show you guys the add-on now so this is the home for the holidays add-on 
gonna again I'm gonna start with the papers oh oh my goodness this is awesome oh my god this is so pretty I haven't been uh, sorry to gush here you guys but this is just amazing I have to take this out of the package and show you this is what happens when Hang on, I'm going to fold that down because I don't want it to stick to this piece of vellum. This is by Crate Paper and it is from the Flea Market Collection, Flea Market Collection, which is the, the newer Maggie Holmes collection. And it has these beautiful doilies. Oh my god, I love this. It has these beautiful doilies. This will be hard to not cord. This will be hard to use. Um, it would make a good background, but you could also cut around all of these doilies and use them as doilies. Um, or you could even kind of cut it in half and use half of it as a vellum and half of it use the doilies because it's really going to be hard to choose what to use this for. It's really, really pretty. Even the back is quite pretty. It's a little bit less um, gold, obviously, um, but it's pretty too, even the back. That's the great thing about vellum, it's so versatile. So I know my camera is probably really glaring a lot at that, so I'm going to turn it this way just so that it doesn't set off the exposure for everything else here. So that's going to be so much fun. You know what is nice about opening these kits when you've been kind of not following the scrapbooking products for a while is that everything is so pretty and it's like the first time you've seen it. I had it, I knew that there was such a product in the flea market line, but I didn't look at it very closely. so. Yay, I'm so happy to have that. This is a paper by Pink Paisley. It's called, the collection is called Snow Village. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love the colors in this. And this is what I love about buying a kit and an add-on is that usually the kit has a slightly different but still coordinating color palette. So this kit here didn't have quite as much of the blues. It does have the blues in this paper in particular, but other than in this paper, it's a lot of classic Christmas colors like the reds and greens and golds, um, whereas this add-on really brings in the blues quite a lot. So this is a really, really pretty pattern. It's a beautiful floral. I love a tight floral pattern that kind of I, don't know, I just like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is going to be hard because this is like a gold, but it's not a shiny gold. It's a golden cream diagonal stripe. This is going to be hard. I'm going to have to cut this up and use a little bit of each of them because that is absolutely gorgeous. I should probably show you guys the, I'm going all, I'm all over the place here today. This is the chipboard that keeps it we straight. We get two pieces of cardstock in the add-on. This one is a blue color and this one is a shimmery green color and it's quite, I mean look at the, this one is you know your regular piece of basil but this one is quite a bit thicker. It stays, it stays um, standing up when you're holding it. So I can put those right here put that right there and again I'm just putting that that way so it doesn't throw off my video camera too much I already showed you that one here is the next piece it is from Echo Park from the Christmas reflections and it has this beautiful floral slash snowflake pattern and then the other side has red and green and blue and black and brown polka dots really pretty and this one is from the so this is Christmas collection from Cartabella it has that really dark color of burgundy uh, and some neutrals and some dark green as well in polka dots that's really pretty and then this is really pretty too it's a green and white stripe this is from Echo Park reflections of Christmas or Christmas reflections I don't know which how you say that um, and it has this like burgundy with all these postal labels all over it in white and then a really pretty plaid. I love a plaid at Christmas. I'm big on plaids. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna just tuck this in under 
all of this stuff like that. And I'm going to show you guys the other stuff that comes with this kit with the add-on. So again, we're at the Home for the Holidays add-on. We get this awesome sheet of Echo Park stickers from the Christmas Reflections um, collection. And it has lots of kind of detailed little stickers. I'll just show you some of them. I love that snowman. He's so cute. I love that jumping deer too. And this, the, okay, I love it all. <laughs> and Echo Park sticker sheets always come with a bunch of, with a, with a couple of borders. And these are really cute. I love the tree border and I really love this border right here. That's so cute. It also comes with some label stickers, which are really versatile for la for layering. Um, and the poinsettia and just a whole bunch of fun stickers. So that's awesome. And then from the Merry Little Christmas collection from Fancy Pants, we have these three tiny alphabets and they are awesome. Oh my goodness, I have never, I don't think I've ever had a piece of fancy, like a set of Fancy Pants letter stickers like this. I don't know if these are new because I don't usually get a lot of Fancy Pants stuff or if they've always done this, but these are awesome. They're perfect for um, putting little subtitles or even just making a small title. And it looks like there's plenty of each letter. So there are there are five alphabets here, plus some little tabs and, and banners and stuff, and then some phrases and some words. What a great selection of stickers. That is awesome. And I love this. It's kind of like a ransom note type of every letter is different. And then these are like little keys. They're really cute. Oh my goodness. And I love these shaped this is gonna, I love those. Okay. That might change my uh, buying habits. I might start buying some of those if they're making them. I feel a little bit out of the loop because I haven't really paid attention to products since CHA in the summer. And I didn't pay all that much attention to CHA in the summer. This is from Echo Park as well. It's from the Christmas Reflections, whatever, um, collection. And these are those layered, um, my mind's eye used to make these uh, kind of layered chipboard. So they've got kind of like chipboard on chipboard stickers. They're really pretty. They're nice for adding dimension. So that's really pretty. And then we have this set of Snow Village by Pink Paisley Ephemera that is so jam-packed that it actually opened in the mail. Um, and just one or two pieces spilled out. So this is just a sampling of some of the things. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I am gonna kind of dump them out so you can have a look at what a bit of the variety. There are lots of these little gold stars that remind me of the gold stars we used to get at school. Teachers have much more interesting stickers to give these days. It has, oh, this is nice. It has like a vellum frame but it also has a star inside of that that you could use. And you could even use the negative of that star. If you took it, I'm not gonna take it out right now, but if you took it out really carefully, you could use this piece and this piece and this piece. And a lot of these embellishments have like gold elements to them. So that's really pretty. There's a bunch of numbers here and lots of vellum. And it's like a pretty printed vellum with like a tone on tone neutral color. And so because of that, they could be used outside of the holidays too. So if you don't use them all up on your Christmas layouts, you can easily um, use them afterwards. So it varies from little things like circles and tags to bigger things like this ticket with gold print on it. Oh, it's, I was just gonna say, it reminds me of the Polar Express. Express. It says North Pole Express. So that is what comes in the Home for the Holidays kit and add-on. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And if you'd like to pick up this kit, it's not too late to grab one. Go head on over to the Scraptastic website, and I will link to it in the uh, information beside this video. Take care, everybody, and happy scrapping. Here's what I forgot to show you guys, uh, the stamp set that comes with the 
first I'll show you the Home for the Holiday stamp set because that's the kit I just showed you guys. I like to take my stamp sets out of the package. I do hang on to the packaging just because it's so pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'll... I don't know if I'll keep on doing that. But anyways, for now I'm holding on to it. Um, and these are the stamps. So Naughty and Nice, Merry and Bright. Actually, there. That's a better way for you to see them. 25, Fa la 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 la. Made with love. All I want for Christmas is you. A really cool um, scribbled Christmas tree stamp. Crazy little elf called. Oh, great for the elf on the shelf. I love it. I was thinking I'd love to have an elf on the shelf, the stamp, so that's great. Some snowflakes, which are great for kind of scattering in the background among your amongst your um, splatter. Holiday cheer, believe in magic, and that's it. So these are really pretty. I'm gonna hold it sideways so that it doesn't get too much glare from my video lights. And the number 25, I don't know if I pointed that one out, but really, really pretty, versatile stamps. I can't wait to use them. I'm gonna pop them over with my kit. And then this is the stamp set from the other kit, the Just Breathe kit, which I really loved the Just Breathe kit. I so wanted it, but with all the things I was doing in December, I just couldn't justify getting another kit because I am doing a daily December documentation project with the stocking stuffer kit, and plus I'm gonna do some 12 by 12 layouts, and that's probably all I'm gonna get to do. So, and it ends up that I absolutely am in love with both of the January kits, so I'm glad I didn't go and buy one in December because, or order one in December because I wouldn't have had a chance to use it. And in Jan once January comes, I'm gonna be so excited about the January kit. So this one says, love, 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 has some really cool glasses. So happy to have you. My kids wear fashion, they don't have prescription glasses, but they wear fashion glasses all the time. So that's great to have. This little cluster of arrows is really, really cute. I love that. And these little hearts, and it says love, and some little partial doilies, every day, this day, happy, all day. Don't forget this, and then some blank banners that you could put some of these other things on if you wanted. Um, and then a little journaling piece, this makes me happy, and another arrow. This is really, really, really cute. So I'll hold it sideways so you can get a look at the whole thing. And these are really good quality photopolymer stamps, and um, it's a, like a full four by six. I think it's four by six. Yeah, it's a full four by six um, stamp set. And these are don't come with a kit. They are available for purchase separately. Hi everyone. I also forgot to share that the Scraptastic Home for the Holidays kit comes with this really cool gold polka dotted washi tape which is one of the best things about the kit, so I'm not sure how I forgot about it, but I love this washi tape. It is really, really cool, and um, I can see me going through this whole roll very quickly. A lot comes on a roll, but there aren't many washi tapes that I love as much as I love this one, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna pop that in with my kit as well. Mm -hmm. 